Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I curl my hair on a daily basis. So this is pretty much the finished product. I actually filmed this video once already, but I thought my arms looked too big. So I was like, okay, I need to just like put on something. So I refilmed it. But now I think my face kind of looks chubby and I think I just gotta accept the fact that I gained a little weight from the holidays. But anyway, this is pretty much how I curl my hair every day. So if you wanna see how I do this, just keep watching. Before I actually go on to show you guys how to curl my hair, I thought I would talk about two things. The first thing is the curler that I use. And the second thing is the hair product that I use. So for my 2018 New Year's resolution, part of it is to take better care of my hair. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is so dead. So like, I'm stop looking at it. I'm gonna just put it behind. But the only product that I use as of current is the Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction. And I've mentioned this product a lot already, but the reason why I like it is because it's so easy to use and it actually has 10 different functions, hence the name, duh. One of them being a heat protectant. So I put some of this on when my hair is damp and even before I start curling, I might put a little bit on. So this one is just a really easy product to use and you guys can get it at Sephora. So in terms of the curler, the curler that I like to use is this Baby Bliss Pro hair curler. It looks like this. And okay, I'm just making sure, okay, it's not hot. So this is the Baby Bliss Pro. I use it in the 1.5 inches. And I think my tip for you is the longer hair you have, the higher you can go in the barrel. So for example, like I think I have like medium to long hair-ish. So 1.5 works straight on my hair. If you have shorter hair, 1.5 is not gonna do anything to your hair. So if you have like hair right here, I would actually recommend going down a size. So maybe like one inch barrel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's pretty much like how wide this is. So the higher the number you go, the wider this is gonna be. So if I have like really long hair, which I hope to have one day, but like if I have really, really long hair, I'm gonna upgrade to like a two inch barrel. But then if you have short hair, Okay, I'm like repeating myself at this point, but if you have shorter hair, just go down. So the reason why I really like this barrel and I've tried a bunch of, sorry, I always like scratch and then I forget that I'm still filming. Okay, so the reason why I really like the Baby Bliss Pro is because I don't know if you've had this problem with any type of hair heating product, whether it's a straightener or curler or wand, but one of the problems I usually have with curlers or straighteners is that I find that when I'm using it, it's really rough on my hair and I hear that sound and it's not that smooth. This barrel does not have that problem and it is so smooth on your hair when you roll it down. I feel like I'm damaging it less because some of the other hair products, it almost feels like it's tugging your hair and pulling it out. So this one works great in that smooth aspect. The other thing I really like about it is that it lets you adjust the heat over here. When you adjust the heat, the higher you go, the less seconds that you need to hold your hair on, which is what I like. But then if you're also the type of person that thinks that lower heat works better, by giving the actual dialer here, it gives you more flexibility. Okay, so enough talk. I am going to get started on showing you how I curl my hair. So I just turned it on right now. I'm going to wait for it to heat up. In the meantime, I'm gonna just show you how I section off my hair. I'm going to tie half of my hair up. Actually, sorry, more than half. And I try to leave just in a straight line over here the amount of hair I want to curl from the bottom up. So I'm gonna work my way to the top. Of course, you can use a hair clip as well, which is probably less damaging for your hair, but I like to use a hair tie. I like to section it off between my left and my right. I didn't let that much hair down, so these two sections should be enough for two curls. The other thing I like about this is that it heats up really quickly, so it's already heated up. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys, when I first started using the curlers with the clasp, I left a dent in my hair. And like for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I'm gonna just show you my trick. First thing I'm gonna do to avoid getting a dent in your hair is you want this top part to always be on top. So always like going to be on top somehow. So I'm gonna clasp it and then you're gonna roll it inwards. So towards your body, like not out there, but like towards your body. So go like this and then just take the whole strand of hair while also kind of controlling the clasp 
hold it and then my trick is to just let it down like that. So I obviously, it depends on your preference. If you want more defined curls, you can hold it for longer. But as you can see, I, I like looser curls and you can see that I also held it for barely anything, like two seconds and I let it down. So the same thing on this end. Um, see how this part is like still facing upwards and then roll it towards you. Grab the whole section of hair. So the whole hair is like already in the barrel and then I just let it down. So you want to pull as you're letting go, you want to just unclasp this and pull downwards like that. Because if you go like this, it might actually make your curls go in a different direction. So I find that when I do this, it actually lays down very nicely. Okay, so working on my second part. For the rest of my hair, it's pretty much the same trick. I just keep on adding more sections. Oh my God, am I sweating? <laughs> Do you guys ever have that fear when it's hot or something and then you're wearing a long sleeve or like any shirt with sleeves and you're like, what if I have sweat marks? Okay, I don't, right? Okay, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> just checking. So once again, grab this section facing the top. Some people like to curl their hair in different directions, like alternate directions, but I don't actually like to do that because I guess mostly because I'm lazy and I've also never tried it. If you are not a fan of loose curls or if you're going to a more formal event, I would hold the barrel for a little bit longer and that way you get the more defined curls. I also think that if your hair is naturally straight or on the straighter end, like my hair holds curls pretty well just because it's already pretty wavy and it's damaged. But if your hair is pinned straight or it doesn't hold curl, you need to hold the barrel on for a lot longer because that way it saves your curls from dying by the end of the day. When I get to the topmost layer of my hair, I like to section my hair vertically rather than horizontally like we've done so far. So for example, like this. Okay, that just ensures that you still get every part of your hair. So moving on to my other side, since I have a side part, there's more hair on this end, so I need to divide it a lot more. Okay, so I am pretty much done. Um, at this point, if your hair still has quite defined curls, I would just kind of comb it through. If not, you can just leave it be. I am pretty okay with the way it looks right now, just because I think it might loosen up a little later anyway. All right, so here you have it. And this is pretty much how I curl my hair. It really doesn't take that long. Once you get used to curling your hair and not leaving a dent, I know how hard that is in the beginning because trust me, I've gone through like three weeks or so of continuous trial before I could get a hang of the barrel. Once again, to reiterate, just make sure as long as this part is on top and you roll it towards you, you shouldn't have that problem. So at this point, when your hair is done, if your hair doesn't hold curl that well, I would hairspray. If not, for me, I, I don't really hairspray when I curl. I do the opposite, actually. I hairspray when I straighten because my hair doesn't do straight hair as well as it does curls. Yeah, that was pretty much the video for today. It was really short and sweet, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Actually, I don't use Twitter that much, but I always feel like I should, but I just never have that much to say. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on for my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.